We've all bought a pair of shoes online and then regretted it when they arrived. How exactly could your technology change that equation? Yeah, that's exactly the problem. And we've seen that 3D assets give customers a better understanding of the product. So actually being able to see the product in 3D and even do a virtual try-on with augmented reality has proven to not only double conversion rates, but also significantly reduce returns, saving companies time and money. Um, the issue is, to date, it's been really expensive and time consuming to create these types of 3D assets. So at Ventana, we built a robust content pipeline to significantly reduce the time by about 80%. So helping companies save time and money in creating and distributing these 3D assets. Now, making it look better online is one thing. Actually be, being able to virtually try on a shoe is a ways off, isn't it? It's not. It's, it's actually here today with the advent of all the new phones coming out this past year. I'm sure most people watching watched the Apple news release last year, which talked about the multiple cameras on the phone. That's all to do better tracking, to do virtual augmented reality try-on. There's apps today. If you look at Warby Parker, you can actually virtually try on a few glasses. The issue, though, has been helping companies scale. It's one thing to do it for one or five products, it's another to do it for 25,000. And when you look at companies like Adidas and Nike, they launch 25,000 products a year. And our software really helps people do this at scale. So Adidas, Nike, Microsoft, Lexus, Mercedes, these are your customers. Give us some specific examples of how the technology is helping them. Yeah, so a, a great example is uh, Shaw Jewelers. They're a client we work with. They have over 4,000 jewelry products. There's no way they could hire 3D artists to recreate all 4,000. They use our software to digitize their entire line and have 3D assets across web, augmented in, in virtual realities. Um, another example, you know, we, we started the company providing turnkey hologram solutions with our, our best-in-class technology, and companies like DJI would send us an 800 megabyte CAD file of their product. Uh, it's too big to put on your website, it's too big to put on a phone, and that would traditionally take weeks of a 3D artist's time to strip down and make it usable. Our software can do that in a few minutes. So, you know, the, the, the goal here is to sort of straddle the online and the physical world. Let's talk about the hologram. Again, something that has for many, many years seemed uh, futuristic, but as you say, you know, maybe closer than ever, if not here in some places. Talk to us about how your technology works in this instance. Right, so when we started the company, their phones weren't capable of AR yet, there weren't headsets on the market, so we provided turnkey hologram services, and it's hardware that projects holograms, and we were creating all the content. And so, of course, brands would want to leverage their celebrity endorsement deals and show off their products. And it was really, when we got to these products, every client from Lexus to DJI to Adidas, nobody had the proper 3D assets. And that's where we really saw this area to innovate and help automate with software. And so that's what we're really excited about now that we have all these other platforms that require these 3D assets like web, AR, and VR. We're helping people create and distribute those assets at scale.